Monday 9.22 You know I've been waiting, my eyes has been peeled, glued to IFL TV, waiting for the Kugu Cassius and Eddie Hearn show mainly to talk about Fury against Dillian White, the purse beads um, his, his thoughts of of Matchroom's bead and BT's bead, Frank Warren winning the bid and we've got nothing We've got nothing. I've been looking at Dylan White's um, Instagram's feed. All we keep get, all we keep getting is videos of his dog and a couple of videos of cats chasing dogs and stuff. Nothing about the fight, which is quite odd. There's something going on in the background. The way I see it, until I hear anything from a positive news from Eddie Hearn or Dylan White, this fight is not going on. It's not going on. Dylan White is clearly not happy with um, the 20% he's being offered. I mean, if you look at the money, it's still a big amount, a big amount of money for a guy that has been waiting for um, the world title for this long. I mean, <clears throat> he's probably Dylan White is probably making more money than what Usyk made against Anthony Joshua. But don't quote me on this. But I'm just going on by a wild guess. It probably is. You know, so... I mean, it's not down to me to try and like... You know, say he should take the money or what have you. But he's still a lot of money and it's for the world title. I mean, Dylan White and all his fans have all been talking about... You know, he's been waiting, he needs his shots, he deserves his shot. That's the shot. That's 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 the fight now. Let's fight. It's you know, it's time to like work hard. And if you feel you could win the fight, then you go for the fight, win the fight, and the undisputed fight against the winner between Usyk and Anthony Joshua. Saudi Arabia will will, will pay a lot of money for it. We're talking about hundreds of millions. If not nine figures, eight figures, you know, general generational wealth, and you get to fight for the world title that you've been waiting for, you know. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, I've, I have a feeling this they're probably still waiting out on the arbitration. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing it properly. Maybe they're trying to get see if they could get a better split, and you know, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, last week Eddie Hearn was saying something about Fury were in an interim interim fight before he fought Usyk, and he went to try and he went to have a fight before he fought Usyk, and he's docking Usyk, and now Frank Warren is coming out saying Joshua wanted an extra five million dollars. All these promoters are going back and forth, like trying to change. I don't know who to believe. They might both be right. I mean, Fury is fighting. He's still going to get the fight before he, he fights Usyk if he gets past Dylan White. So he might even see Dylan White as a, as a um, you know, tier up fight. He did say it before. He, he, he said it before last year. So maybe he sees, he sees that. But, you know, we need to we need to find out who do you think is who's going to win that fight. For me, for me, I just feel Fury is obviously the favorite. It all depends on what Fury turns up. But as we say, Dylan White has got the power to knock him out. But then again, Tyson Fury has got a hundred percent record of getting back up when he gets knocked down. Hundred percent record. You know so. You know, but in heavyweight boxing, you just one punch away from a disaster. But would you want to see the fight? I need to see the fight. We need to get this fight going so we could see who the only spirit is. If not, what's going on? I just think money, money is just ruining the heavy heavyweight division. It's just greed. The whole division is just full of greed. Step aside this, 50 million days, or oh, I didn't sign any contracts, or oh, blah, blah, blah. It's just, oh, let's just get over done with. If not, 
if they're not gonna fight each other, then just let us know. It's a waste of time, so we could fo focus on other things. We could fo focus on Katie Taylor against Serrano. We could focus on Shakur against um, Valdez. Apparently, Valdez still hasn't signed a contract. Don't know what's going on there. Maybe he's uh, trying to get rid of that T <laughs> before he signs the contract. <laughs> oh, I don't have a joke. Who knows what's going on with all these light leads? But um, hopefully, we have. Some more news from Dylan White and um, Eddie Hearn at some point. Tomorrow, hopefully, maybe. You know, the thing about Eddie Hearn, you don't see him till he has something to say. So right now, he's got nothing to say till he has something to say. Or whatever, they're trying to work with the arbitrations. We just need to know. If not, we keep it moving. But the per speed, 41 mil. That's a lot of money. I, I, I think that's an investment. That is an investment from Frank Warren and Bob Byron. They're not going to make any money. Maps just doesn't add up. It just doesn't add up. I mean, I thought about it. Like, I mean, the gate from, let's say, Wembley would be like 5 million revenue. Um, average price. I mean, if they saw their 30 million, if, they, if this, the pay-per-view is like 30 pounds, 30 pounds times a million. That's 30 million, that's 30 million pounds. How's that gonna cover? You know, I know there's the um, the international rights fee, the sponsorship of the night, which is about a mil. It just, the maps doesn't add up for them to make, but they had to do that. They had to do that. They had to make sure the zone doesn't embarrass them by beating them. That's the main reason. But if there's a problem, why would the zone go for the bid then? If they weren't serious, why would they go for the bid? Now, anyone's got nothing to say about it, but they went for the bid. Okay, signing out.